Aha, hello and welcome back to the channel. I am Braggy Magnuson and yes, as you can tell, I am a Viking and I'm also a storyteller. And today I am here to tell you another folk tale. Oh yes, it is a folk tale day. And we all love folk tales on this channel. So, before we continue with this story, grab a hot drink or a cold drink. Sit down, get comfy and relax. So, this is an Aust Austrian folk tale and it's called the grass snake, which is why I'm holding a wooden snake. Now, many, many years ago, in the land of the Alps, a place I've been a few times, there was a family. There was a mother and a father and they had a little girl. And the father, well, he often spent time away working in the woods and was not at home all the time. And, well, the mother and the young girl carried on the best they can. And at times when the girl was hungry, in between meals, in between a lunch or a tea, the mother would give her a little bowl of milk with a hard roll, a bread roll. And she would go outside the long house and sit on a stool and, you know, drink the milk and break up the roll and dip it in the milk. But in the farmstead, there lived a little grass snake. And, well, after some time, the grass snake became used to the girl because, let's face it, animals are very nervous of people and you can't blame them. And after some weeks and months in the summer one year of the girl sitting outside and every day having a bowl of milk and a hard roll to eat, the grass snake got more and more stronger to go forward to go and see the girl. And this is what happened after a while. The snake must have smelt the food, thinking, oh, I'm a snake and I'm all hungry and I would love some food. And the girl, being very fond of animals, as all children are, used to throw a bit of the bread and put a bit of milk on it and the snake would eat it. The snake was very hungry. And after a while, the trust shown by the grass snake made the girl the most happiest girl in the village. And whenever she had something to eat, she would always go out and give a bit to the grass snake. And, well, the two of them, both the girl and the snake, loved the food their mother made them. And as the time passed, and the grass snake never missed a meal, which the young girl gave her, the grass snake would come back with little trinkets, little golden rings and beads and rubies, which the grass snake over many years had collected and hoarded away in the snake's little nest. After all, snakes are very fond of shiny things. So am I. And this happened and continued to happen and the girl got nicer objects, small objects, just big enough for the snake to carry in its mouth and creep along the grass. And the girl's mother, well, she did not know anything about this between the friendship of the girl and the snake. And one day she was frightened to go outside and to see her young daughter sitting down with the grass snake in her lap. Well, I think you'll be frightened too, wouldn't you? I, I, I may be frightened, but maybe not. That's another story. And, well, the mother saw this, and the mother got so scared and she feared that the snake might harm her daughter that, well, she dashed it against a stone until it was dead. A sad way for the snake to go. I'm sure you'll agree. 
And afterwards, after the snake had died, the young girl became very unhappy. Until the point where she became very, very ill. And one night the swallow called to her, and the robins brought the little red bird with the red breast brought dead leaves. And then the following morning after this had happened, her mother came to look at a child to wake her up and found that in the night, sadly, her little daughter had passed away. The end of the tale. And a very sad tale indeed. Now, if you have enjoyed this folk tale, say hello to the snake, hello snake, then please leave a comment. Now, there's two ways you can leave a comment. You can leave the comment hashtag folk tales, or you can leave a more descriptive comment of what are your thoughts about the telling and about the folk tale. And if you are new to the channel, then I urge you to subscribe, but also share our content, especially on Reddit. We don't really share on Reddit, and I'd appreciate it if some people, our fans, could do that for us. So, until we meet again, or Ego is here telling another folk tale on a Tuesday or a Thursday, it is goodbye from me. And the snake, of course. Say goodbye, snake. Oh, goodbye! Um, leave a like! You do some strange things in videos. Goodbye! I'm going this way now, very slowly. But look, it's half a braggy. Gone now. Leave a comment.